my goodness. How did you do that without without taking the power beyond into consideration? Oh my goodness. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is James and this is Killing It Country. In my last video, we breathed a little bit of life back into my Still MS261C chainsaw. Uh, new needle bearing, new sprocket, new chain, air filter, fuel filter, spark plug, etc. Today, we're gonna put some equipment back into service. We're gonna get the dump trailer out. We're going to uh, get the wood splitter out of the dump trailer, which is where I keep it for the year. We'll, uh, we'll split up some of those rounds that we cut up when I was testing the chainsaw. Give me the opportunity to run the Mini X and uh, have a little bit of fun. So if this is what you're here for, stick around, let's do it. No good video ever started without going to get diesel. That'll do. These would probably reach, um, you know, without the without the extensions on here. But normally, I would have my uh, my Woodland Mills WC forty six wood chipper on here, and then the dump trailer sits back even further. So. I tend to just leave these extensions on and we'll just find a place to coil them up so they're out of the way. All right, so there's the wood splitter. It's a 28 ton black diamond uh, wood splitter. What else can I tell you about that? Not too much. Honda pump. Honda, what's that, GX200? It's been pretty good. We haven't uh, we haven't put too many hours on it yet. We kind of just purchased it in the fall because it was on sale. You know, ran it uh, ran it up a little bit, split some wood, and then it was the end of the season for us. So uh, the best way to get that out of there. I know what you're all thinking. He's just gonna dump that trailer with the tractor and spill it out onto the ground. No, I'm not. I'm gonna pick it out with the Mini X. So I'll go grab the keys to that and we'll fire it up. Snotted it off down here, run it across, down through that handy little, uh, handy little handle? I don't know what you call that. So we'll uh, put that over top of the teeth. And then the loose end, we can just hook to any of the teeth, the open loop. What could go wrong? We'll put a little bit of tension on that strap and then I can remove that orange ratchet strap that I have going in there. The ratchet strap is required because as you can see, this guy barely fits in the dump trailer. Well, there it is. Definitely accumulated a little bit of surface rust over the winter. It was stored under cover, but you know, not heated. So we'll definitely have to get some grease down in there where the where the actual splitting head runs in the track and we can do some, some undercoating around here. But otherwise, none the worse for wear. So what we're gonna do now is uh, we'll back the dump trailer in here. This is where I was, um, making a few test cuts with the chainsaw the other day when I uh, did a bit of maintenance there. So we'll throw those rounds into the dump trailer, see what else we can collect out of here. And then we can uh, play with the dump trailer. We'll dump the rounds out here or maybe over there somewhere down there, closer to where we actually burn. And then we can split some stuff. We'll make a good little video. So let's get going. I 
can't leave the tailgate on when I have the splitter in here because it hangs out too far. Normally I can put this thing up by hand, but I might not be strong enough this year. If only I had a large piece of equipment that I could use to lift this tailgate up. I don't know, there's just nothing on the property. So does the backhoe. Oh my goodness. How did you do that without, without taking the power beyond into consideration? Oh my goodness. All right, let's back this thing into the bush. There we go. So I'll pick up from here, set them on the splitter. We'll split them, we'll stack them there, and they'll be ready to go for this little area down here that we've affectionately called Camp COVID. A lot of partying happened here during the pandemic.
that's the 28 ton wood splitter with the BX and the chainsaw and the dump trailer and we split all that wood today. I have no idea how much wood that is. Somebody that knows the dimensions of a skid and who's a good guesstimator might be able to figure that out. But uh, that's going to be it for today's video. Dad and I cutting some wood and taking care of business, putting some equipment back into service for the summer. If you enjoyed that, hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you in the next one.